A lot of activities and services across the region for disabled people have stopped. And for many, there is the added distress of not being able to see loved ones. Annabelle has been finding out more. There's a Music Makers Group in Liverpool making music the only way they can at the moment. The weekly sessions have moved online during the pandemic and have been a lifeline for the young adults who take part. 30-year-old Linford has been going for 18 years. Since March, most of his other regular activities have stopped. How has that made you feel? It's a bit... Um ups and downs, it makes me angry with what this is doing to us. And for carers, this is a concern. We're talking about a group of, of people with um, a learning disability and physical disabilities. They're often lagging behind in any case in terms of provision and resources. With Linford, for example, it's taken years to put together a meaningful activity to get the funding to find the activities. And that's stopped and it's going to take a long time to recreate it. Lynn's granddaughter, Lorna, has cerebral palsy and lives in supported accommodation. And this has meant that she hasn't been able to see her family face to face since May. I thought, well, it's best that she stays where she is and she's happy rather than see us. And she's just dis distressed. It kills off like, but... It must be so hard not just being able to, to reach out and, yeah. and give her a hug. I think she wonders, why is me? Why isn't me? me nan giving me a hug, you know. Are you concerned about the long-term effect this pandemic will have on so many people? The stress this is creating for that group and their carers is, 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 is unmeasurable and the effects on their mental health and their physical health will be there for a long time to come. There's a big Maker sessions have brought back some normality. Being able to connect with family, even online, has been emotional. I wanted to get out of words, Lona, Lona, and then by the time I ended, the tears were coming down her eyes and the tears were coming down my eyes. I was like, oh, my baby. <laughs> One of these days we'd be able to come out and hold each other, and give them a little big hug. <laughs> Definitely, let's hope so. Uh, that was Lynn Davidson there ending uh, the report uh, from Annabelle.